Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be telling you about some really cool books that you could read during your summer break. I divided my books um, by reading level. So for example, I have high school, college level, and then some really um, adult level that you can just read if you're an adult and you just want something fun to read uh, but yeah so these are the books I chose and hopefully you like them let's get started so this is the high school level one uh, this is a recent one that just came out and people are like raving about and it's actually a pretty good book and um, so definitely uh, you should check it out because it's a pretty easy read for those of you who are of a middle school or high school level. Uh, it goes pretty fast. It's pretty similar to The Hunger Games, so if you have uh, read that book and you like it, you're definitely going to like Divergent. And uh, I'll definitely see a movie coming in the future. And it's, that's definitely the next Hunger Games, so definitely go and read it because it's pretty enjoyable. So the second one for the high school reading level is The Perks of Being a Wallflower and this is actually a pretty good book uh, for any level so if you want to read this and you're an adult you, sh you should check it out but it definitely talks to it's more directed towards the high school middle school people because it the main character is a high school kid and it deals with like uh, very deep problems but definitely connects with like anyone can connect with this um, so definitely if you are bored and you want to check a good book to read during the summer definitely check this one out because it's a pretty good one so this is for more of a, a grown-up reader and uh, you're an adult or a college student and you just want something really cool to read uh, American Psycho by Brett Easton Ellis. This is a pretty graphic book, but because you are a grown-up or a college student, you are used to graphicness. It's about a psychopath who is a serial killer and kills a ton of people. It's definitely a great, great book. It, it tells you about the 1980s Wall Street society all they cared about was the image and materialist things and definitely talks about that world Patrick which is the main character the name of the main character kind of personifies that so definitely check it out another book for the adult uh, category is uh, Fight Club and this one is I know both of them are for movies so if you don't if you can't do the read the book definitely check out the movie because the movies are freaking awesome it's actually a little bit harder to understand than the movie because the movie can get, can get a little bit weird but definitely read the book if you have seen the movie or if you haven't seen the movie read the book and then see the movie because they're both really worth checking it out okay so now let's move to the next category So this category is for the person that wants to read something smart, that wants to kind of exercise their brain. So um, this is pretty advanced stuff, so um, it's not recommended for everyone, just someone who wants to exercise their brain. And the first one is Aristotle Politics. This one I read it uh, for my college course, political science course, So it is pretty advanced. A very, very good read. It's really really interesting the topics are super interesting uh aristotle talks about everything that has to do with politics from communism to capitalism to you know everything so if you want to learn and be entertained at the same time definitely check this book out so the next book i also read it in one of my classes and it is one of my political science classes but it's a little bit different than Aristotle this one is War on Sacred Grounds by Ron E. Hasner and he is actually my professor um, so definitely check this book out I'm not doing any promotion or anything but the book was pretty interesting and the class was as well but you know the book you can do go and read that one it's available on Amazon what happens when uh, sacred sacred grounds go under attack either by uh, 
politics or by you know foreign countries but it's definitely super interesting so go check it out if you want to learn something new or want to you know understand more of what's going on right now you know like the wars in Iraq and Afghanistan and you know all of those places that are happening right now so definitely go check it out and you'll be entertained so that's it for today hopefully you got some ideas on what to read this summer now that you are out of school or out of work and you have some time to relax and just pick up a good book and be entertained by the words on a page so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time Bye!